I mix a giant and going to be saying how you can upgrade Marvel's Hunting Commandos to fan to other forms of media. A living mummy. Frankenstein's monster. Werewolf by night. AKA Werewolf by Night. <laughs> Don't worry, kid. I'm a vegetarian. A living mummy. In I like you! Uh -oh. He's Frankenstein's monster. Fury likes to keep his monsters hidden. The world's not ready to face certain truths. Any loved ones? Of course I do. But what does that have to do with anything? Dracula can't use the Ankh until sunrise. He's possessed your team so he knows your secret. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Ah, she's a great witch. Right, Aunt May? Having a vampire-free evening? Fury didn't mention you were on this job. Wild stab in the dark. You guys know each other? Commandos, secure this place. I don't know what happened between the two of you, but I need to save my team and protect- The line tech, best of old school magic. Weaponized garlic spray, wide UV spectrum lamps, contus wards of protection. Nothing's getting into your aunt's house. Trick or treat! Is the man thing? Or Mr. Thing? He likes you. Ugh, really? How can you tell? You didn't explode at his touch. Okay, good to know. No? <laughs> Dracula mesmerized my team. What if this is a trick? An illusion? We can't trust our eyes. Kid's right. Dracula is closer than we think. Will you follow me? Where are we? How did I get here? What's going on? The Howling Commandos? Nice! Frankie, throw me! He's gone. I'm sorry. Winner! Watch it, big guy! All these parts are mine! Work as a team. You're serious? I doubt it. Hey! I was once a conqueror of men, a pharaoh. I have waited millennia to be so again. The Ankh of Tekka. I feel it! I summon the flail of Anubis and the crook of Osiris! And pay me tribute. So now it's a completely different kind of monster movie. Fury, I'm no longer yours to command. Come to me, or I will smash your city to the ground. Be the first to bow before. No. Bow. Now he's not. So what? Without bandage boy, you're just a bunch of freaks with a drooling truck? You're the Howling Commandos. More than that? Beneath all the slime, the fur, and the shades? I think you're actually friends. My friends don't quit. F oh yeah. You don't call him the big guy for nothing, right? Well, he's gonna need a lot more raw material before he can face something Pharaoh size. Welcome to the New York sewer system. One stop shop for all your sl Does anybody have any scissors or, uh. <laughs> You there? Yeah! You rock! Or mud, or, or whatever you're made of, you're awesome. You're all awesome. Monster, hero. Them. We wouldn't have survived the Dracula Pharaoh double team without them. Speaking of teams, Blade, come on, where's the love? He's not big on mushy endings, but don't worry. Dracula's still out there, and we're working on it. 
It's what teammates do, right, kid? The endings. But don't worry, Dracula's still out there and we're working on it. It's what teammates do, right, kid? Yes, they do. Oh, but if not, you should get an invisible man. He'd be stealthy, get on buses for free, and... He's so bummed he isn't even insulting me. There might be a tiny, tiny little speck of warmth in his otherwise cold, dark heart. Spider-Man, you are well... But seriously, the moon! Wolf, it sounds crazy. I mean, a wolf on the moon? But I was looking for my people, and something hit me. I blacked out, and when I came to, my crew was gone. I had this... Can't leave! I I'm responsible for all of this. For them. I have to stay here, save my men, and see things through. Choosing responsibility over Jonah's orders. Am I actually liking JJJ's son? I trust you, Spider-Man. You are not at all what I expected J. Jonah Jameson's son to be. Actually, my dad and I don't have a lot in common. It's why I accepted a job a quarter of a million miles from Earth. To get some space between you? <laughs> that was pretty funny. Looks more active to me. The sword, it's absorbed my chi energy. That's all. Hello? Paging Spidey sense? Why didn't it warn me? Unless. John! I know you're in there! What? Big active glowing gemstone plus human contact, or, you know, alien contact apparently, equals gemstone fusion, which equals. Guys, I've got a plan. But you've got to trust me. I need help. And I'm here to give it to you. Step one, give me your sword. Like the rest of us, your plan saved his life. But he will need help learning to deal with his new appearance. Me too! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Oh, sir. A legendary cursed beast rumored to consume anything in its path. No need to fret. The Wendigo tale was created to frighten children. They do not actually exist. That's not helping, Jarvis. Help, Stark! Okay, grab right! Whoa, 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 whoa! That's right, I just good, good. Just scream it all out. The Wendigos are gone. My armor scanner. They are already doing in the Midnight Suns and the Highland Commandos in the MCU. So it would be good you doing them in part of Seal or like in the comic box. Seal is gone in the MCU, but to be true, they are doing Sword as the space version of Seal, so it would be good to bring back Seal with Hydra since they're having so many guys from Hydra in the MCU, like the Serpent Society. And Madam Hydra, the girl who's creating the Thunderbolts in the MCU. And they did really take advantage of Seal being a superhero government in the MCU, so it would be good them doing that now, uh, with there being so many new superheroes in the uh, MCU. And it would be good them going up against Hydra for the supervillains in Seal. Them being evil government helping the MCU's villains, and also to explain why there being so many new uh, MCU villains. And putting Man Wolf in there. To pass out J. J. Jameson more, and also do you know, them fight against the Windigos. You can also do in the MCU that someone put Windigo meat into a meat grinder, that whole town ate it, turning them into Super Windigos. I was creating a Windigo apocalypse for, peop 
for the Creature Commandments of Fire Games and with the Canadian superhero team Alpha Flight. Which should also be the first time I seen Wolverine in this movie and also see a Wolverine vs. Hulk in it. What's a Wendigo? Oh boy. The Wendigo lunch. Now that's a catchphrase! Wolverine? And Volk. The Jet's the last of our problems. Oh, was that really Wolverine? I didn't get a good look, but yeah, I think so. Little Weasel finally went rabid. Rabid? That's an understatement. He's gone nuclear. That's <laughs> right. Look! Friends with Wolverine? First time we met beat the snot out of each other. Something about that guy brings out the worst in me. I think I was bit by a Wendigo. It's an ancient cursed monster. Bites are contagious. Just like in a zombie movie! This is so cool! Except the part where it's real. There's gotta be a cure, right? Uh uh. My healing factor did the trick. With them also going up against monsters like Lightform, the extermination both Death Starkies, and the Molten Man thing, and the Living Totem Pole, which would be from Canada, there being more than one of it, it fighting against the Marvel Superior, so it having its own story to tell, and it having the powers of the story it tells, them also having Davy the Demon, and you'd also need Garak the Petrified Man in there, with him also being a villain to the Axe Man, and also Umbu as a villain to the Hulk. Him also being different from Ego, the Living Plants version of him. And Red Skull could come back in the MCU you know, to lead Hydra. And even be the reason of why Hydra is doing things in the modern day again. Because of some leftover Hydra agents and his kids coming together to get at Red Skull out from Voimir after them finding out him being alive after Endgame. Using him to lead Hydra again because of him being angry that Captain America trapped him again there for so long after him already being trapped there for so long. After them being done with Sam Wilson being Captain America in the MCU, it would be good. Them using this for when Bucky becomes Captain America in the MCU because of him finally redeeming himself after being the Winter Soldier for so long in the MCU. And after him doing something like this, it would be good and him being able to start being Captain America after it because of him knowing the world being good because of there being other superiors than him. Because of them doing the Serpent Society in the MCU, and because the Serpent Society being a part of Hydra, and it would be a good threat for Sam Wilson and Captain America to go up against, and because of Hydra being a better way to explain how these things have been here the whole time because of Hydra instead of there being so many things that have been here the whole time. It would be good you doing Hydra coming back at the start of the fourth Captain America movie. If it turning out that the Siphon Society is a part of Hydra and Madame Hydra is their leader. If you were doing that Sidewinder is a part of the Siphon Society later on in the movie, and you're also showing the other members of the Siphon Society as being part of his team, and them turning out to be supervillains too. If you're also having Marvel's supervillain called the Manticore with them because of him having some snake in there, and him driving the modern version of Marvel's Manticore, the tank version, and from Sunspot, at the one of his weapons, and for him being even more like a Manticore. And they did do a good version in of the Serpent Society and Avengers It's Mass Heroes and how Viper's in charge of them there. So you would need to do something similar to that in the MCU. The Serpent Society is a team made out of a lot of snake thing villains in the Marvel Universe. None of these guys are really iconic on their own, but when they're together they are iconic as the Serpent Society. They are an A-list villain to Captain America is a big part of Hydra. You would need to make it obvious them coming from a supervillain government part of Hydra, and them working for Viper specifically in Hydra. And with them being called Serpent Solution because of them changing their name to Serpent Solution in the comic books. 
Sidewinder used to be a businessman, so he might need to get people to work for him willingly because of his cloak being able to teleport, so he managed to get them in by promising he would break them out of prison if they worked for him. And with him actually paying them to do it, them getting all the advantages of a good job, and with him actually being a good leader to them. Then it would turn out that Sidewinder works for Slither, who works for Sin, who works, works for a uh, Viper. They do this so no one would know who's actually in charge of it while the main guy is still being in charge. And so there's always a leader of the Siphon Society since they have so many snake themed members. And them wanting to be really exact for it because of them working for a super fun organization like Hydra. And because of them being loyal to the main guy in charge specifically. To make sure the other members of the team is loyal too because of them having so many snake themed members. You would make it that Sidewinder is a better leader than Slither, but Slither is ahead of him because of him being more loyal to Madam Hydra, Viper. And Sin, Red Skull's daughter, is ahead of Slither because of her being a better leader than Sidewinder and being more loyal to Madam Hydra than Slither. And her being the Red Skull's daughter and is a better supervillain than them in Hydra. And Viper being ahead of Sin and being the main guy in charge of the Siphon Society and one of the main guys in charge of Hydra. Because of her working her way up to Hydra and her being one of the main supervillains of Hydra. And because of her being loyal in Hydra and you would need to make it her starting the Siphon Society in the MCU. And it being the Siphon Society's idea itself to rebrand themselves as Siphon Solution because of them and being an evil government and call out like evil society and because of them going up against Captain America specifically and you would also have one of their members Diamondback date 8 Sam Wilson's Captain America because it is better than her dating the original Captain America like in the comment box and it would be good you showing Serpent Solution being different than you use a supervillain team with them actually being friends with them going along with their date to make sure nothing goes wrong on it and with it working with a member of a supervillain government specifically. And Viper is Ma'am Hydra. You just need to make it that her real name is Viper in the MCU. Her aunt and her supervillain name in the MCU is Ma'am Hydra because of her working for Hydra. And with it being since World War II and her surviving into the modern day because of her, her being a little girl at the time. And her being a member of Hydra because Hydra saved her when she was a little girl and took her in and then trained her and to become a Hydra agent. You just need to make it that the I'm Am Hydra's real ID start with her sisters that were taken in with her and took up the name of Ma'am Hydra with her. And her only doing the thunderbolts to make a her team look good. And to recruit them for Hydra and to put them up against the Avengers which is why she got super runs that were similar to each Avengers member. And put them against each Avengers member and why her they're going up against Sam Wilson's Falcon Captain America. The character who is putting the team together is already a Ma'am Hydra in the comic box. And so you the way look at the Tavon is, is with how she was doing the team. You just need to make it her faking being a jokester so she doesn't come off as a terrible villain and, and just as a jokester like all the other terrible villains and all the other terrible parts in the mind MCU. And so here's still being the same big threat from the comment box. You just need to make it, it turning out here being a part of Hydra this whole time. And with it just turning out here being in charge of Serpent Solution. And you can also use this to bring back like I am Zoy because people have been wanting him back in the MCU. You know, and with his robot right in the MCU for quite some time now. And he could also be one of the main members of Hydra. And they did already do his robot by him with Dev, so it would be good them doing it in the main MCU. And this would actually be a good thing you taking from the comic books and it being true the comic books you doing his robot body. And with you also doing Hydra having their own version of Seal Tower character with Hydra Island. And they also kind of being in because of them right there being Red Hulk, Hulk in the MCU with him turning into Red Hulk, Hulk to stop them. And it being partially because of Hydra is how him becoming Red Hulk. We fought once. On Hydra Island. If I had fought Captain America, then Captain America would be dead. I'm not a Skrull. Go! Hmm. It's over, Captain. You will release me right now. Or every single person here 
will suffer the consequences. People you save know the truth. I know the truth. And the truth always comes out. Yeah, sure. What matters is what I do, right? Right. I don't know what to say. Thanks. So, does this get me a discount in it? Allow me to present Octopus. I, a dangerous experiment. This is the result. You will not. You want me? With him also doing this to go up against the hog, but him also finding out him being wrong and about the hog by him doing this. And you also could use Hydra for how you do the Iron Man runs good and the Iron Man Wars with Rody. Now I'll leave a link in the description below of how you can do that you hey guys good. Self-replicating containment measures. I can be pig-headed, but I hope you didn't think I just blindly trust that red screwball. That's a little nanite form, high density containment compound I cooked up. No! You can't do this! A little insurance, just in case you weren't exactly the lovable Boy Scout your PR was selling. General Ross! Get out! This whole thing was Ross's way of discrediting the Hulk. But how did he- Ross! It was you! Always you! Uh-oh. Don't do it, Hulk! Wait. Hulk, we know you're not a monster. Let him go. Hulk knows a real monster when he sees one. Don't worry, I check mine too. Totally goo-free. Welcome back, big guy. I don't know. I think I want to be left alone for a while. But if you need me, call. After all, what are friends for, right? Deep, dark secrets to tell us? Yeah. Like, what was so classified about the Hulk rocket anyway? What, besides the bomb? Well... Truth is, I thought it'd be fun to launch on the 4th of July, you know? Give the whole country a fireworks show. Surprise! And what of you? Will you walk away as well? You are indeed a noble warrior, Hulk. One who has saved the Avengers and now helped save the world. I would trust you with my life. Will you trust us? Uh... I'll stay if Cupid stays. I want you to protect civilians from Hydra. They're the monsters here, not you. In my day, we had a name for someone like you. Yeah? What's that? Hero. I've been watching you, Hulk. No matter how scared people are of you, no matter how much you're hounded, you always do the right thing. And that makes you a hero in my book. Now, how about we smash some more Hydra goons? See here? It's you! <laughs> you robbed that bank! Now everyone thinks I'm a crook all because of you! <laughs> Stop talking like you're Iron Man! Stop talking like you're on Reading Rainbow! What the heck? Rhodey, is that you under there? How did you know my... Hold up. If you are the real Iron Man, tell me something that only you would know. You've been dating Squirrel Girl on the down low. Hmm. Okay, your turn. Prove who you are. Tell me something only Rhodey would know. Uh, you once dated She-Hulk, but it ended when you discovered that he's... Gentlemen, don't discuss those things. Ha ha ha! how are you? And why is my best friend wearing the Mark II armor? Somebody had... Before or after we're swimming in lava. It's true, the armor systems are down. But we can still do some things manually. I'm going to eject the ion stream generator from my boot jets. <laughs> Wrong button. Yeah, but... 
was an attempt to escape. I failed. It wasn't an attempt to escape. Nay, it was a signal flare. Sorry it took so long. I couldn't get Thor out of the restroom. Hero up, Tinseltone! Ah, success, my armored and lightly toasted friends. The fake Iron Man armor, plus the money from the bank vault, you're certain to be exonerated. Yeah, your reputation is back to what it's always been. Squeaky clean. Couldn't have done it without your help, friend. You mean best friend? I mean best friend. In As and Stark Industries, we got Iron Man... What's going on out here? Uh, it's better not to ask, I find. Pretty fancy suit there, Stark. Did you get bored with the old one? Okay, am I in some kind of alternate universe? Who are you? I'm War Machine. My name is James Rhodes. I work with Tony. Well, where the heck is he? Where are the Avengers? How can you be so calm, knowing he's out there like this? Tony, we think he's this absent-minded, dorky kid. But when he's in that armor, he's a different person. He can handle himself. I mean, he's Iron Man, right? That armor? It's invincible. I'm not worried about the armor, Rhodey. I'm worried about him. He's all alone out there against the people who stole his technology. Tony is out there all by himself, and there's nothing that we can do to help him. I understand why he feels he has to do this. I just don't understand why he has to do it alone. Hey, boss. Why are we delivering the fractal here? Because? Well, just because! Call me Iron Menace! And I intend to take over Superhero City and Villainville! I will amass an army here at Dark Industries and use all the powers at my disposal. Powers like this! Look at all these toys I found here at Dark Industries! Oh, man, I've got a headache the size of Modok's head! This is fun! <laughs> <laughs> it hurts a lot less without the headband. Worst thing is that Mordo painted everything black. Cooties off my armor and now I've got your I've missed you, my beauty. Release everyone, and I mean, you'll get your jewel. It is not the jewel for which I worry. Take care, my handsome love. <laughs> you can't even stand to look at me. Admit it. Admit it. I don't know who you are, but prepare to fall by the hand of Count Nefaria. Yes. Titanium Man. I thought we finished him off at Magnetogorsk. If we don't stop him, we must. I'm the new and improved Iron Man. International. Namely, our boss, Obadiah Stark. <laughs> it's an homage. Homage? It's obvious. Look what you're wearing. Now take off that armor. <laughs> right. There's more than one reason why they call me Ghost. <laughs> They've always loved you. Hole in the wall. Look what's coming through the hole. It's a second unity. Check the outside security cam. When the fake Iron Man lifted the vault, the weight pushed him down. The smaller guy always wins the fight. I don't watch movies, except beaches. Beth Midler make me... Popular entertainment is for the weak. Crimson Dynamo is strong. Look, I lift you, and I throw you down. 
How can Superhero defeat Crimson Dynamo? I have promised to break you. Oakley Dokley, I am... This is for framing my best friend. This is for zapping me into the bank. And this is for that cheesy accent. Current high-profile occupants include Crimson Dynamo, Technovore, Modok, and... And Hydra's boss, Baron Wolfgang Von Strucker. <laughs> No dynamo. Not yet. What are you going to do, Zemo? Do not be so troubled, my wonder man. All you need to know is that if you do as I say, you will get your humanity back. And you needn't worry either, Dynamo. You can have Iron Man. I have a much bigger appetite. When? When I say so. Brin wanted the living laser to cauterize the corn crop immediately. Living laser, Iron Man. Living, as in something you're not going to be in about five seconds. You have no idea how much I've been looking forward to this. He appears to have been frozen in his life form. So what? Someone took him down for us? That's fantastic! We've been tracking the Masters of Evil for what? Weeks now? I'm keeping him. I remember when you put me away here, Iron Man. I remember what I told myself I'd do if I ever saw you again. Uh, let me guess. Bore me to death? Mr. Gill, a.k.a. Blizzard. May I call you Donald? What? No. What are you... And because of me talking about the MCU, me is going to need to be talking about the animation so I can take advantage of this video to support it. Because the MCU did ruin storytelling in general, so it would be good in me making sure animation doesn't end up like that. So you really should stop casting guys like Jack Black in everything, I think especially when you need a dark and serious character as the main character. Or you at least need someone whose comedy works with the rest of the movie, not just as not taking it seriously. Or an actor who can also do serious things so it's not just a one trick pony, like for example Jim Carrey he is really good as Dr. Robotnik because of him being the villain and him going with the personality of Dr. Robotnik like, and because of him not just doing jokes and even when he does do a joke like he's still threatening in the movie. I'm not saying don't hire Jack Black or anyone like him anymore. We did have a whole actor strike for, specifically for that not to happen. I'm just saying that I did actors and you should give them a chance too and people like Jack Black are best in small doses in movies. One of the main problems with storytelling these days is that no one takes it seriously with the rest of the storyline, so you should edit the is have ID people who are better for the job do some of it too. It is bad that they fired so many people just to give it all, all to one person. It's not like they're getting any extra paychecks. 
In fact, it is illegal to make people work hard if they no extra money. Especially since they want you to put so much work into the storyboard aspect, so you're basically animating it before it's even animated. It is also bad that a lot of people are losing their jobs over this, and it's way really overworking the people who do still have these jobs. So if you started splitting up the jobs again and hiring more people for it, it not only will it get a lot of people their jobs back, but it also will make sure that the animators who are who do still have a job there aren't overworked, right, and them still being able to do good animation and still having plenty of time for it. Which is why we need the animation strike to happen so badly and why we do need it to work out. Which is why we need to support the anime strike and why the animators need your help with the animation strike. No contract, no cartoons, no animation without uncompensation. And we also need the anime strike to go oh well so we don't, don't use AI anymore so animators won't be losing their jobs over it and so we can get good quality animation again. It is bad big evil companies replacing people with AI, and besides, AI will never be as good as humans anyways. Because since it isn't doing these things from scratch, and it doesn't even have the imagination to do something good originally in a good way, and that's why humans are better than AI, and why you definitely shouldn't fully replace an animator with AI. Animation is under attack, which side are you on? You can help the animation strike by not going against the animator strike like on any forms of media that you just is letting people know you are supporting the animation strike and by helping it on social media. And also by letting the big evil companies know oh that the animation strike is a good thing and that they should win. And you can and let people know how good the animation strike is and by uh, going with the animation strike on social media uh, just by doing the hashtag stand with animation and hashtag no AI. And not actor you should stop hiring in these kinds of movies should be Aquafina. She is not a voice actor, she's just doing her terrible personality from real life in these movies. She just does a bunch of mistakes while she's recording, she doesn't follow the line at all. Now, she's just improv the whole way, and, and just making it up as she goes. And then a bunch of it ends up, up in the movie, like none of the original script ends up there, just all of the uh, made up script ends up there, and the made up script is terrible. And it's not like she can do a different personality than that, she was the worst character in the Bad Guys trailer, she was a terrible in another movie about pigeons. And she was one of the main reasons why I why in the Last Dragon and was terrible in one of the worst Disney movies, especially in the modern age. She is a terrible voice actor, and she didn't even train to be a voice actor. She just said terrible things about a Disney movie. He did a YouTube video about it, and then Disney hired her as a voice actor, so to show that not so hard on fans, but really they are so hard on fans. And it's better than showing this tribute to a terrible fan, but they're not showing this tribute to their actual true fans. And they don't need to keep hiring her and everything. Kevin Conway and Mark Hamill, for example, are some of the best voice actors because of them doing so much with their voices and making them sound so different. Hank and Zero does most of the best characters in The Simpsons and make them sound all different from each other and make, makes them into the lovable characters and does them the best that we all know and love. So there are better voice actors that are much better for the job, and there are new voice actors that are actually fans of these guys, so you should make their dreams come true by hiring them. And they can do it better, and it would be good for the new generation of voice actors. Plus, whenever you see voices anyone over, she always hogs the spotlight from the main character, which is bad, uh, because we want to focus on the main character, and it's not uh, like she's all that great herself. I mean, the character is never likable, and she never does a good job voicing them over, and, and I hate to uh, see that's what her friends deal with in real life. I mean, no one would be friends with anyone who acted like this in real life. And guys like Chris Pratt were already good in live action movies because of him being able or to do things seriously, even with Emmett in the Lego movie, which is a comedy and spoof on things, it still shows how good Lego is because of Emmett actually having emotions. And Onward was not that great because of him just do being him without any direction for him. Thus, I believe he could do Garfield, it's just as his voice did not match Garfield. 
And why did they do the Super Mario movie without Mario's original voice actor? He definitely can't do Mario's voice, he can at least just do a better job of voice acting it if he is going to play Mario. We didn't like Peter Quill because he was a mess or because he was a joke guy. We liked Peter Quill because he had some good in him and because as he had a good reason for being all messed up in the end. Which is why Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is the only good MCU movie in Phase 4 and 5. Thus, one of his best movie roles is in Jurassic World where he started to get serious. And then we never would have saw him as more than just a one trick pony if he didn't do that. He's not a voice actor, he's an actor. With a voice actor, you need to focus specifically on a voice as in being able to change your voice. With an actor, you rely on facial expressions and act acting in with your parts of your body. So you can keep giving him roles, roles and you should definitely a a B still be around as an actor, but you should start casting him in everything, especially with things things he wouldn't be good at acting in, and also how it is good at him just being an actor. Yeah, plus, you already had a big role in the MCU, so he won't, won't have a terrible job finding other places, but it should be hey, as a superhero in James Gunn's DCU. He's already friends with James Gunn, and in the MCU already proved that he can do a superhero. And it's bad that this happened, but they didn't make Mr. Rose a comic book writer for DC as super fame as a director at MCU. That's why right, us need to do the animation strike and making sure it wins. Because it's not just for the mind and generation of animators, it's for the next generation who want to be animators, voice actors, and actors. And so we get people who actually care about this stuff doing it. And, and so they can do a good job for the next generation. And also, animation companies and superhero companies should just get at people or who are fans from YouTube videos else to do a better job than they do just with their fanfics. It's like Mr. Rogues, or Super Frame, Brian Seeker, and Captain Midnight. And so we can have up to today's generation of voice actors and animators to show the next generation of voice actors and animators how it's done and how, how to be the next generation of it. Disney ruined Star Wars and its original movies without the original Star Wars creator even being involved in it being Disney's own movies. It's Bob Iger from Disney's fault why the MCU stinks so badly now because in the original parts of the MCU, Kevin Foggy had complete and total control of it, but now, now with Disney having more control of it is why it's stinking so badly here because they're the ones who did the terrible decisions for it. Plus, the Simpsons are actually doing pretty good, even though Disney is trying to ruin them by not letting them to do anything, but at least the Simpsons are still able to make fun of Disney. And Disney is an evil company, not just because they're wanting to make more money, but because they're actually terrible people in real life, life and the evil corrupt people you see on TV who are rich. I mean, someone working in their restaurant straight up lied to someone about it not having her allergies and her food at Disneyland restaurant. And his wife died from her allergies because of it, and Disney wouldn't even pay the lawsuit for it. They used the guy as Disney Plus subscription and to get rid of the lawsuit. Because it said if he agrees to this, as he must never go against Disney. But that's for a Disney Plus subscription, not uh, for killing someone's wife. It was on the New York Post News, on social media, and their news show, and on websites. And online. Even if Disney is going through a hard time now, they still have lots of money, and it is their own fault that they're bankrupt, so they definitely should have, have used some of the money for it. Even at this time, they still have a bunch of money, even if it's because of their own fault they're going through a hardship right now. So they definitely should have paid the lawsuit. I mean, it was just a lawsuit, so they definitely should have paid it, and they def definitely could have afforded it. It is living proof that the people are terrible or corrupt businessmen and in charge of Disney and that they are evil people at Disney. And that Disney is a lousy company and even if Warner Bros. has become an evil company right now, now and has turned into a terrible company like Disney, Disney just outdid themselves for uh, which one of them is still the worst company. And other people in the world know this too and other people in the world are showing this too. Because YouTube is our version of social media, which we use to get this news out to make sure people know about it. And we have seen how terrible the news is lately. With them actually punishing some news workers who actually told the truth about what actually happened during 2023. And I've been using clips from these guys 
And it's not just so I don't have to seek out these terrible clips myself and put them in my own video. Because I definitely prefer these guys talking about than the actual video itself. And to show you that I'm not the only one in the world with these opinions. And that is true I'm saying. And, and I do vote other YouTubers is on this stuff. And to show you that I'm telling the truth. And to show you, no, it not only be a kid thing. This thing is for all ages. And if anything, it's insulting to a five-year-old if you said that. I know Disney has a kickback lawyer, but the guy who created... And the duck that submitted Donald Duck and and the actors who played Zack and Cody and the street life of Zack and Cody on deck man's outsmart at Disney's lawyers. So I'm sure if there's enough of us getting in actually good lawyers we can do it. Especially with something like the major strike because I refuse to let them get away with murder the cheerily. And so we don't get any idea evil companies or any companies becoming evil like Disney. The sequels wouldn't be so bad if they were good, and some of them they definitely shouldn't do a sequel or two because of them already having a bunch of sequels for it. And they definitely shouldn't be doing any more live action movies of their original Airman movies. They definitely should just be telling original stories in their live action movies, and they definitely shouldn't just be making a worse version to make fun of their original Airman movies. Wait, so Ziggler already made fun of Snow White straight? Hit on camera on the news at the white carpet. In front of Disney, right to the fans' face, he's on camera. And already made sure that she was telling the truth. And it's not like her even knowing anything about Snow White, and she was so insulting to it, and she disregarded the whole fan base of it. And she was straight up insulting to the movie, even though her being a part of the movie, and even though she didn't see it, so it was also bad her being a part of a movie that she didn't even see. And her not even being a fan of the movie and her being a part of it. Why are you a part of this movie if you're not even a fan of it, Rachel Ziegler? And she said it at a Disney event and, and for the own company she's working for at Disney. She may have gotten some people calling her out for it, but, she, but they do kind of deserve to call her out for it since she did say something really insulting on international TV. Hey, and it was just something they like. Like, so what did she think was going to happen? She really should have expected that. And it isn't the first time she did something like this. She has done this before and she has said and something like this before and, and been insulting to something someone liked. Like on camera, on international TV, on the news before. So she should have expected this. Disney should have trained you to what to say. Hey, you really should be careful or when you're talking internationally. Disney is starting to realize how bad it is, but they should because of it already being bad, and they really should have planned ahead for this. And they only started doing it just now because she said it. And they've been saying it themselves about their own company's best and original movies. And other people have said that before, other people have said that about their movies before, and other people have said that different parts of their coming about their movies before, but them only reacting when Rachel Ziegler said it. So not only should they have not said that stuff before, but they also should have gotten angry before Rachel Ziegler said it, so she wouldn't have said it in the first place. I mean, everyone on YouTube has to be so careful for what they say. Hey, so there's no misunderstandings, people know what... Oh, exactly what they're talking about with no misunderstandings. And for them getting their point across. And for them knowing exactly what they're trying to say at that time. And definitely not because of the YouTube censors. That's actually doing the opposite effect on it. And if anything, it's making YouTube a lot harder and much harder to do things on YouTube. YouTube is about making entertaining videos and expressing yourself. How are we supposed to do that with censorship? And it's bad us need to deal with that censorship. So people on YouTube do know what it's like to do that, and they do have a better job of doing it than her. And it's bad that we still have to deal with YouTube censorship. Well, she didn't need to deal with any of that, and she still messed it up. Disney really should respect their original movies, since they were some of Disney's best movies, and it was because of their original movies of where they are now. It was their original movies that started the whole Disney thing. And the original movies are some of Disney's best movies, not just at the time. They shouldn't just be giving up on their own ideas and going and for the not true fans opinion on their Disney movies. They should be trying to justify their original movies and why they're so good at the time. Plus, as because of their original movies being timeless and because of them being fairy tale movies is why they're being so good. So it would be nice them doing something for uh, the true fans by justifying those movies instead of insulting themselves. 
First, we do need actual pure evil villains in movies again. Not just in movies, but also in cartoon shows too. They are a threat to the hero and something to get in the way of their journey. And them being the worst parts of the hero and also being a mirror image of the hero. They being metaphorical and not being literal. And they are bad guys so you shouldn't try to justify them being bad guys. It's something like the Joker, they did justify it, but they also acknowledged him being a bad guy, and made it obvious that he is a bad guy, and him being good in a super fun way. Which is why so many people in real life like him, and why Joaquin Phoenix won an Oscar. The Joker movie made a bunch of money, it created entirely new genre movies, super villain movies. He was sympathetic in that movie, but he was also evil and obviously crazy and violent. So even if you do a sympathetic villain, it still needs to be a villain. And you should only do a sympathetic villain on occasion. And while well, a super villain that's just pure evil should be the usual. So it doesn't get repetitive and so they both stay special. And not every villain should be a wuss ass or it should be a simp um, simping over a girl. And only doing it because they're in love with her. That is a good motivation. But it definitely shouldn't be the usual. It is a special motivation and it should stay special, not every supervillain having it. Pure evil servants are good servants too, and they're also good characters too. And there are people like that in real life, and they can still have a tragic origin story in their main movies, just you make it obvious them being a supervillain, and in it being obvious that the superior should sign because they're a supervillain. I mean, people should know that some people are just beyond redemption too. That is a real life fact of the world. And it is better than finding it out from a cartoon show or an anime movie and than it being too late in real life. Look at horror movie serial killers and horror movie monsters, for example. It being scarier when there's no motivation and them just doing it just cause because of them being pure evil. Oh, so you can't sympathize with them. Some people oh, just do terrible things because they gave them a knife. Some people just do terrible things because of them and wanting to hurt people and likes killing people. Some people oh, think life is terrible so they're doing people a favor by killing them so they're not dealing with the terribleness of life. And some people just want to watch the world burn. Thus, we definitely shouldn't make the superhero look like a bad guy or incompetent at their jobs. Um, so it is much better you just keeping it simple supervillains and superheroes. Just playing good and pure uh, evil is good. Thus, it's better to stay with something good than just go with something new even though it's bad. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You definitely shouldn't try to modernize it because it being timeless means it fitting in any e time. That's actually why one of the reasons the MCU is so bad, especially now. When it did these terrible things, things and started them, everything started copying it so that turned terrible too. The MCU started doing CGI for everything, so we stopped seeing any other kinds of effects in everywhere else. And the MCU also started uh, the CGI being terrible, so that's partially why, why we got into this mess and why everything is terrible in CGI now. The MCU started the woke garbage with Captain Marvel, and then it got even worse during Marvel Phase 4 and 5. The MCU already had that Widow, but they gave Captain Marvel a movie instead, even though she was a terrible person. And they just used Black Knight Widow's movie to introduce more superheroes into the MCU, even though Captain Marvel never even grew out to being a jerk face in the MCU. And good thing King's actor quit because he didn't get wrapped up in the terribleness of the MCU, and no one would want to have anything to do with the terribleness of the MCU at this time. And the MCU also started the whole, oh, not taking anything seriously and just making a joke out of everything thing, and, and having the terrible villains thing in the first place, so it's bad. In their first movies know that, and then it just got even worse in the later movies, so it is bad everyone copying that originally, but now it's even bad everyone copying how bad it is. Disney couldn't even celebrate their own 100th anniversary. The rewrite videos on the internet did a way better job than Disney did at, the, at celebrating their own 100th anniversary. This was everything bad and in Disney over 100 years, not everything good about Disney over 100 years. And it's because the big evil company Disney doesn't know its own things. They didn't research their own movies. They don't have anyone who is a fan of their own movies. And they're not knowing how to do this movie good because their other movies were terrible because they didn't know how good their original movies were. Well, the fans rewriting Disney's 100th anniversary and the Star Wars movies are doing a better job than them because they actually saw these things and knew what they were originally about. 
They took classes with some of the original creators from the original good movie versions of these things, so they know oh, how to do good stories with these things specifically than them. Um, and also, oh, it's because these guys actually know the original inspiration for these things, so it's much better them doing a story hey, that's similar to those inspirations and not uh, just a story that's trying to say something about the franchise itself. If you want to see some of the rewrite videos, or see some people who, or who are true who are fans of forms of media, or some people who know how much we need the animation strike even more uh, now, like just a robot or just some guy, literally that's the name of their YouTube channels, I'm not kidding, who are right about this rope garbage anyways and not just on Disney. Or if there's some people who know oh, how to do storylines better than the actual companies themselves, Oh, it's like Brian C. K. Hey, Captain Midnight, Superframe, and Mr. Rogues. I'll leave a link to some of these guys' videos and some of these guys' YouTube channels in the description down below. And to do some hashtags for the enemies and strike like down below. To help go against the evil of Disney and any companies like Disney and to help the enemies and strike. And to help you with the hashtags that you should do on social media to help the animation strike so we can get good animation again and so animators won't be losing jobs. And the MCU just verified the original woman just so they can do a bunch of new women and the terrible characters because they're jerk faces and just bigots to the other way. And they literally stole Star Wars from their creator and insulted him and while they ruined his movies and did terrible things to it. Yeah, 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 that's all, folks. <laughs>